Auburn University Co-op Interview Day. Located at the hotel at Auburn University, interviews conducted in the Dixon Conference Center. 30 minutes long, over 100 companies come prepared. Now let's hear from some of our students. What benefits do you expect to receive from co-oping? I expect to receive from co-oping the benefits of uh, experience. I get to learn what part of my major I want to do with the rest of my life, what I love, what I hate. Um, I get to get work in different work environments and meet new people, interact with others, and so they can help me in the future if I need their help. The majority of them, they hire their co-op students after their rotations, so ultimately I'd like to have a full-time job after all of these. Co-oping already has so many great benefits. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with co-oping. You get paid for the work you do, you get more experience in your field to solidify if you really think this is what you want to do, and plus at the end you might even get a job opportunity. How did you prepare for your interviews today? Um, so today, before interviews, I kind of just looked at the companies, went to their websites and kind of checked them out, saw what um, things they were interested in, like what they built. So like, was it commercial or government or healthcare? So if you just kind of get an idea of who the company is from their website, see their mission statement, see their core values, then you kind of get an idea for what they're looking for. And then you can also see like how you would fit into the company as well. Uh, I researched a lot about the companies, uh, and then I had my roommate uh, ask me a bunch of common interview questions, and then I had him grade me like on a scale of 1 to 10 and tell me what I did wrong, things like that. What do you think of the interview process so far? It's been good. Uh, I had all of my interviews back to back, all five of them. So the first one I was a little shaky on, but then it got better as time went on because got all the nerves out of the way. So it, it was really good. All the people, they didn't seem like they were a drill instructor trying to trying to kill me on their questions. So they, they seemed like good people that were uh, interested in what I had to offer. So the interview process today has been pretty great. I scheduled it so that I have 30 minutes in between each one, but you can kind of schedule it to fit however you think it would be best. Um, so the process is they have a bell that rings five minutes before and then right at the time of your interview when you walk in and you just go to the table that has the number on it and you get to meet the people and just meet them for 30 minutes and it's not, there's not a lot of pressure on you. Um, you kind of just answer their questions and it's very personable. You get to relate to them um, and just see what kind of people you would be working for. It's not very formal where you have to sit down and just answer questions. You get to actually talk to the employers and see how um, see how you'd fit. I think it's been really fun, surprisingly. I didn't expect it to be this much fun. Uh, the questions have been pretty quick and I didn't expect that either, so you have to answer them pretty quickly. And they've been sort of more about the company than I thought too, so it's kind of 50-50. They'll ask about the company, like what you know about the company, and then also ask you personal questions. What would you suggest to future students going through this process? So if I had to go through this process again, I think that I would probably um, do more research on myself than I did on the companies. I learned a lot today about how to, in, like, how to answer questions that they ask about me. Um, so just know things like, um, do you like a, a list of things that you're really good at? So say things like, this is what I'm talented at, this is what makes me unique compared to other um, students that are going through this same process. I would definitely suggest to research the companies ahead of time and know what you want in the companies that you're applying for. For future students, I would say research early and often because it felt like towards the end I was really scrambling to get some notes together for some of these companies. And then also those, those interview sessions helped out a ton because they give you an inside look straight from the source. And then also there's a, there's a few job fairs and career fairs that I went to and got another inside look about who they were, put a name with a face. So th all those things were pretty good. Now let's hear from some of our employers. What are the characteristics that you look for when deciding which co-ops to hire? When we're looking to hire co-ops, we're generally looking for a student who's very well-rounded, uh, is good academically, is good with uh, learning and figuring out new things, as well as also who can go to the field and perform work out in the field, not just in the office. We need someone who can kind of be a well-rounded individual. We look for lots of different characteristics. Uh, 
when deciding which co-ops to hire, we look at their work experience uh, prior to interviewing with us, um, their, their grades obviously, their availability um, for the terms that meet our needs. We also evaluate how they speak, uh, can they communicate effectively. Um, but more than anything, it's really the greatest strength is do they have a desire to do what we do. We are a construction management firm and they need to have a general interest in construction um, to be a viable candidate for us. Do you feel co-ops have benefited as a result of employment with your company? I definitely think that co-oping is a benefit for the students. The co-ops that have worked with us have gone on to work in great professions and very moved very far up in their corporations. Many of them have pursued the same programs and t line of work that they do with us and having that little bit of extra uh, experience has really helped them moving forward with their careers. At graduation time, when you are considering candidates for full-time positions, how do you respond when you see a job candidate has co-op experience? When I'm looking at uh, graduating seniors uh, in consideration for, for full-time employment, um, like I said, we, that is our preferred method, is looking at co-ops who have co-op for us. Um, if, we, if they didn't happen to co-op with us, then obviously a, co a candidate with co-op experience for somebody has, has work experience in the field versus somebody who doesn't have work experience in the field. Obviously the guy who, the person who co opted would be, be more valuable to us. Auburn University co-op program gives a special thanks to all those who participated in the production of this video. This video was created by student assistant Preston Fitzroy.